coffee in the morning. Mariana's having a breakfast. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a brain training. <laughs> training up that brain for some adventures to come. <laughs> oh, that's ready. Mark doesn't even give up fishing when it's raining. She's just eating the cardboard. What a weirdo. What a freak. She's obsessed with my fishing stuff. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no. Ah, I should never have opened that Pandora's box. What's he doing, mate? Taking over your territory? You gonna sit there and what, let him eat the weed off the pontoon? Yeah, pussy. Amazing. Yeah. 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 All these are supposed to be done, used to be done by my two aunties and my mom and me and someone else all help, like someone does this rolling and someone, uh, there are two people does the making. So that's for like the whole family. You end up with hundreds and hundreds of something. Yeah. My mom is really good at doing this because my grandma is not from the south, it's from the north and they're really good with flowery stuff. My little Ooh. ears. You eat them in a certain like festival or in winter and they say in the north to keep your ear on because sometimes it froze until you lost your ear. <laughs> Damn. I think that Ellen's gonna cut my hair. I think it needs it, what do you think? Do you know what to do? Yeah, I do. Oh, I know. Right. Cut it then. But I like your Mendoza. It's ridiculous, I look like a woman. I look like a transsexual. <laughs> With my little beard. Don't say that, that's so unrespectful. Zillo. Zorro. Zorro. <laughs> Zillo. It was Zolo yesterday. <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> hey, that's how... Uh oh, somebody's mad. Right, look at Nadia. Look what she's done to my hair. She made me look stupid. Look how long it is on the front and then at the back. I haven't been I look what like a flipping you... woman. I look even more like a woman. That's trash. What do you expect when there's no mirror? What do you mean? And what do you expect? You say you can cut no, hair. You're a liar. You're absolutely. Nice to see Nadiana's having a nice time. <laughs> well, I did mine perfectly. Yeah, because you didn't hack it off. Like you're trying to <laughs> I didn't... trim the bushes outside. I didn't hack it off. <laughs> so today we were supposed to receive a package from our good subscriber, Richard. And it was some parts for the engine that we were going to do this week. Anyway, to console myself, I'm going to go through this book inspecting the aging sailboat i read this about a year ago just before we bought the boat in fact it would have been more than a year ago now i've not read it since i've just uh, not picked it up however there is loads of really good information inside it and like really clear drawings as well so i'm gonna go through it this is more like a pre-purchase book but it's got everything so at least 
got that. Then hopefully tomorrow we'll get our delivery. What are you going to do for the rest of the evening, love? Practice hairdressing. No. Oh, laugh at your hair. <laughs> I'm on my second run through the catalogue. I've got some things which I want to buy. Butt connectors, spade connectors, Reese. Oh, maybe they get this gar mini Garmin thing. I, I don't think so. What's a Garmin thing? You know, the little personal distress. Oh, okay. But it's just, I'll just research it first. Mm. I don't think I'll buy it because it's like 300 euros. Mm. Fender Kiri, <laughs> cleavers pins, a, a tarp for the cockpit. A uh, halogen LED, not not an actual halogen, but like an LED to go in the place of the halogen. And some wiring for the mast stuff and other stuff. There are a bunch of soldiers holding like rifles, rifles and wearing bulletproof jackets standing right outside. <laughs> Believe it or not. It's the first time that we're firing up the grill and it stinks. I think no there's grill. food and it's stuck in it. Ooh, that's cool. Ugh. Whoa, there's stuff burning. I just have a quick burn. We're making a blue cheese omelette. Whoa, this is my new discovery. <laughs> Ooh. Looking good. This is looking disgusting. I never know. Like they are, they are in there. All right. What's in the box? Obviously, Beta Marine stuff. Oh, so exciting. Oh, nice. <laughs> so this has come from Richard, who is our subscriber and uh, we talk to him quite regularly and he's been so kind to send this stuff we got a keyring i don't know if that was if that's just a freebie from beta or whether you put that in oh, that's nice beta marine keyring well the main thing that we have which richard said we definitely need is this which is the pipe that takes the coolant around so ours is heavily eroded if you've not seen it I'll show you in a sec so I'm going to have to fit that on I did buy some pipe but it's just not right this one as you can see is formed perfectly it's a massive load off our mind once that's uh, fitted so that's nice as well two zinc anodes so I'll take off the old anode which I changed about eight months ago but I'll take it off and have a look and then um, o-rings as well for the heat exchanger and that's it good stuff thank you very much richard i'm uh, glad that i finally got the package today so these are our keys that we carry everywhere so like the key fob keys to the padlock and we also have the engine key we've only got one engine key so i think it's actually not really a good idea to carry that around with us just in case we lose it so I'm going to put it on my new keychain and just have it just next to the engine because it never needs to be anywhere else apart from next to the engine. That's a very good idea. Good idea, isn't it? Mm. And it's also like the beta engine key. Exactly. <laughs> the beta key. Perfect. Oh. Alright, so let's get started. This is the pipe, and here is where it's worn down. It's a really good job that I'm doing this because I've just checked. I'm sure I checked this recently, but it's pretty much empty. There's no coolant. And looking here, maybe it's leaked. It's a bit kind of eroded and corroded, so I'm gonna have to double check, clean everything, and get everything done that's bad I can feel it up up to a certain point so there is coolant in there I'll be taking the belt off just to make access easier needs a good clean yeah. this engine there we go 
I'm not sure you can see but you see there's a big bulge here so that's a really big lip that I need to get this pipe off so that's going to be difficult and getting it on I guess it's going to be difficult too so yeah, I'll just do this jubilee clip and then get that off I'm going to turn the camera off and I'll turn it back on once I've finished in about two hours Some of that went in the bilge, but not all of it. So access to the other Jubilee clip is very difficult, so I have to go out here. This side of the engine, there's no access. There it is. And my tool doesn't fit. <laughs> Pipe. It looks a bit iffy around here, so that will be where it's leaking. It will be interesting to see how badly that's eroded after about 10 months. As for where I took the pipe out, it is manky and disgusting, so I'm going to give that a good clean as well, and all around here. Very nasty. In fact, I'll probably take this time to clean up the whole engine. That way it's easier to spot any leaks and it makes me feel better. <laughs> After half an hour of cleaning, I think I'm going to have to accept that it's not just a red engine, it's a red and black engine, but uh, at least there's something to do. Anyway, now I'm going to get cracking on the tube stack and the anode. We'll start with the anode to see how that is. <sighs> Ten months of use with the anode. Ten months. There we go, that's it cleaned up a bit underwater. Mmm, still got a bit in it. Not sure whether to change it or keep it. May as well just change it. Now for the tube stack bolt number one. Ooh, it's a big bolt. There we go. Ooh. That's not looking too good, is it? That O-ring, crikey. Woo! Oh! I don't know if you can see, but there is a whole layer, a whole ring of rubbish inside this. I don't even know what this is for, this tube. It's not popped out nicely. Oi! Now the task is going to be getting this out of the engine. I couldn't get it out last time. I just can't get it out. It is absolutely impossible. I don't want to damage it. Pain in the ass. I have to resort to my old technique of blowing air through it. It's crazy how much I don't know what it is, lime scale that I'm scraping off here. You can see. Right, I'm mildly satisfied with the cleanliness of that. So I'm going to put it back on. O ring number one. Uh, I can kind of feel that it's made a contact with the rubber, which is good. I feel like I've done a better job of it this time than last time and that's mostly because I feel like I've got better tools Whoa. Camera nearly went in the bilge This tough little camera Not today
Now finally the job that I've been wanting to do, replace that pipe, but if you look here, look at how dirty this is. That slips on really easy. Ooh. Oh, that's a perfect fit. So Richard said that we might have to trim a bit of the end off on this side because it's to stop it from coming out so that the belt uh, hits on it, but it's actually perfect. Perfect, that's amazing. Fantastic. The amount of times I studied the bit that was cracking and I was like, oh, is it going to leak? Is it going to come out? So that's a massive weight off our, off our uh, minds. And a good job I didn't try with that pipe that I bought, but at least I've got some 19 mil pipe, which is kind of useful for pieces like that right in the end of my fingertip. Awesome, I'll get this tightened up and then get some stuff in the, get some cooling in the top. Look at the clearance now between the belt and the pipe, that's fantastic, that. All right, I was just trying to clean up the engine while the camera was charging, because it ran out of battery, and that's how it looks. That's as clean as I can get it, but it's a damn sight better than what it was. Anyway, I poked my finger inside, and there is coolant up to a certain, not as full as it should be, but enough for it to just run up just to see if it's okay. So I'll get cracking with that. A new Beta Marie keyring. So let me just think, everything is set. Water's on, fuel's on. That's it, right, okay. 10 seconds for heating. One, two, ten. Check for leaks. That sound is just a tap, it's okay. Okay, water's coming out, no problem. These are geese. Oh, look. Geese? Those are baby geese. The big ones are not babies. The little ones are baby. <laughs> What's the big one? The Canada geese. Are they their parents? Yeah. I need to find a place to dispose of the old coolant. I'm not sure if it was originally red or if it's just become red over time. All right, that's it for another episode of Wildling Sailing. I hope you like my new haircut. It's pretty cute, isn't it? That's what Nadiana's doing in the background. <laughs> I caught no! you. I caught you. This is what she does. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I have to deal with. It's it's all right. It's fun. Anyway, on a more serious note, I know there's lots of different types of people that watch this video, but for people who are getting into boating or don't have much experience, then things like this, the engine maintenance, are um, a kind of a reality of the life. And um, with this particular thing, changing your anode uh, once a year is highly recommended and cleaning out that heat exchanger if you've got a diesel engine so yeah bear that in mind and uh, for the more experienced heads please let us know uh, what we could have done differently thank you very much for watching if you did like it then please click the like button if you click the like button 
then I think it helps us with the YouTube algorithm and all that. I, I don't know. So if you like it, please give us a like. And uh, if you can share it as well, that'd be great. And thank you to everyone just for watching. And thank you very much to the people who have been to our PayPal and coffee. That's just incredibly generous of you. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks to Richard and Jane as well uh, for sending over the stuff. That's really, really helpful. And if anyone wants to send us anything like that to help us, just get in touch. And any more words from Nadiana in the background? No. No, you're ashamed now, aren't you? I was only trying to make you laugh. Trying to make me laugh. Trying to put me off, weren't you? No, I was only trying to make you laugh. Anyway, <laughs> see you on Tuesday. I will look like a ghost. Stay safe, everybody. And a big shout out to all the key workers who are keeping the place going. So, thank you very much. And see you.